Hey YouTube, it's the Tech Hacker, and today I'm going to show you how to SSH on all devices using a USB or a Wi Fi connection. Alright guys, um, I did mean all the iPod Touch or iPhone devices, so you can use this on, this is all compatible, the USB and Wi-Fi is compatible on the iPod Touch 1st gen, 2nd and 3rd, and also the iPhone 3G and 3GS. Um, okay, so the first one that we're going to be doing today is the USB. Um, what you're going to want to do is on your jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone, go to Cydia, then go on the bottom right, click on search, then you're going to type in... AFC okay and that should be all you have to type in and it'll come up with this AFC to add click onto that top right it should say install it'll load up a page top right again I'll say confirm you're gonna wanna do all that it'll start installing and then afterwards it'll say uh, like reboot device or something you're gonna click on that and it will restart your iPod um, now once that's done you can go to your computer and you're going to want to go to the site. It's in the video description as well. It's called i-funbox.com. Okay. So i-funbox.com. All right, it'll look like it should look like this. And if it doesn't look like that, and it's not loading up, this is what happened to me too, you're going to want to clear your browsing data, and it's different in every single web browser you use, but for me, and Google Chrome has happened a lot, you're going to want to click clear browsing data, it's under that little uh, wrench icon, clear browsing data, and then I clear the browsing data, I empty the cache, delete cookies, and then clear these two things, and I clear data for, uh, the clear data period is everything, and then you should clear it, and then it should all work, and you just restart the browser, and then it should work. Okay, right here, if you scroll to the, like, if you look down, right there, so it says download, okay? So this is, it should be the latest version, it's in English, you could do it in a different version, I guess. So, but for me, I'm just going to click download, and then it automatically starts saving. Uh, for easiest uses, you're going to probably want to save it to your desktop, but this is what it's going to look like. So it says three seconds left, one second. Okay, now I'm just going to drag it to my desktop. Oh, my bad. Okay, there it is, ifunbox, en, underscore en dot zip. Now, you're going to need a program called WinRAR installed on your computer for this to work. I'll have a link for that in the description as well. It's a free program, and you're going to need that to extract this program. Now, what you're going to want to do is open it up. Once you have WinRAR installed, you should just be able to double-click it, and it'll open up this window. Okay. Now what you can do is you can just open it up from right here, but for me, I'm just going to drag and drop this onto my desktop. Okay, there it is, iFunbox, and you can close out of WinRAR, and there is the logo. Now, once again, your iPod should be connected via USB right now, and what you're going to want to do is um, double-click on the iFunbox logo and right there it came up so now what you want to do is just double click on this and there it is your full SSHing um, menu you can do all these stuff and usually if you're used to WinSCP and you want to go to the actual system double click on raw file system and then there it is this is basically a WinSCP menu it has the VAR has the you know has everything that you need now this is the area where you actually access your themes, carrier logos, system strings, etc. This is where you do it. And you also, that's the cool thing about this uh, iPhone box. You can do basically anything, you know. It's nice and um, user friendly if you don't know what to do. And that's right there is where the WinSCP menu usually is. 
Okay, I prefer this one because, once again, it is more user-friendly and it has more features than WinSCP. WinSCP is just this. iPhone box is all of this, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so that was the USB SSHing um, program, iPhone box. Now, what you're going to want to do to do it on Wi-Fi is, once again, go to Cydia. Okay, type, go to search again on top, type in Oh, my bad. S S H. Okay. Three letters. S S H. Ah, things not deleting. S S H. Okay. Automatic S S H. That's what you're gonna want to uh, install and confirm. So install and. It will load up with the page. You're gonna click confirm. Okay. Now, once it's done, you're gonna to want to click on return to Cydia. Once it's done reloading the data. Alright, there it is. It says Return to Cydia. You're going to want to click on that, Return to Cydia. And then uh, just respring your iPod. Just click on that little power button right here. Click on that. Click it again. Slide to unlock. And you can hit the home button. Because we are done with Cydia now. Okay, now on your computer. So you don't need this uh, connected. Because you are doing this Wi Fi. On your computer. Uh, you're gonna want to go to the link in the description, okay? It will be in the description, and it will take you to a page that looks like this. Okay, uh, the page has WinSCP. It has all the downloads for WinSCP. Uh, the latest one right now, as you can see, is 4.2.5. The latest one will be right there, too. But I'm just gonna show you what to do. You click on that. And you you download the setup WinSCP whatever version you have setup.exe that's the one you're gonna want to download okay so you just click on that and it'll take you to a page I'll ask if you want to download it yeah I want to download it okay now it's downloading now once it's done you're just gonna to want to run the setup file so it's almost done one second left and it just going to click on that. You run it. Okay. English. Whatever, you know. You just go through your uh, basic um, installing procedure. And right there, it's done. And I'll restart my computer later. So now you should be done with the internet as well. And there it is. There's your WinSCP icon. Looks like a little lock should look exactly like that um... so now you're going to want to just uh... let me see, you're going to want to open that up and it'll look like this okay now this is the part that gets a little a little tricky but you just guys you just want to pay attention it's pretty easy so now what you're going to put for the host name is your IP address now for the IP address this is what you do on your iPod you go to settings Okay, then you're going to want to go to Wi-Fi, and the internet connection I'm on, you're going to want to click on that blue arrow, and it'll give you a little number, it'll give you a number with periods in it, and that's your IP connection, okay? You're going to want to type that in to the host name. Alright, so just type that in. Then for the username, you're going to want to put uh, root r o o t password alpine a l p i n e. Then you click save, and then you save it to whatever you want. Click OK, and then you just double click on this to open your connection. Make sure Wi-Fi is on. 
if this comes up, you just click yes. And then it'll ask you for your password. So once again, it's Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. All of this will be in the video description. And there it is. There you go, guys. Your SSH menu. Um, you are in. Okay. So there it is for Wi-Fi and for uh, USB connection. I hope this helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks.